Hello everyone, my name is Daryl Obear. Welcome back to Maya Mondays. So today we're going to be playing around with XGen a little bit more and I'm going to be talking to you about how you can generate some stray hairs or some wispy hairs that pull away from your main groom. So one way of doing this would be to generate a whole other fur description that's got very low density and then you kind of manually define what the stray hairs look like in that second description. And that's obviously pretty straightforward. I'm not going to walk you through that process because I think you all would know how to do that by now. What we are going to look at though is how we can use expressions to generate the stray hairs and have them define a few hairs that are kind of set as strays and then have those strays get their own unique attributes in the form of expressions. So this is really powerful and, and really pretty cool. First step in doing this is defining which hairs are considered strays, and you do that by going to the descriptions, set stray percentage. So in this window, you can either specify an expression to define the strays, or you can just sim simply enter a number to set a percentage value. So for this example, we're just going to say 10% of the hairs are going to get held in the stray variable, basically. And then we're going to then call this stray out in the form of expressions. To, um, to modify how the stray hairs behave independently from the main instance geometry that's in the description, which is going to be the main body of the hair. So let's go ahead and generate a new noise parameter, and the noise parameter is going to be our mechanism for pulling out those wispy hairs and having them get their own unique noise values set for those strays. So with the noise in here, it's got a frequency of 1 and a magnitude of 1. It's going to have zero effect at the root and full effect at the tip. So we'll go ahead and we'll preview this and we'll see what we get. So I think the frequency and magnitude both at a value of 1 look pretty good for the stray hairs, but for the overall body of the hair, I want to have much higher frequency, maybe like something like a frequency of 10 and very low magnitude, like a magnitude of 0.05 or something like that. So for the main body of hair, I just want to have a little tiny bit of noise breaking it up, but I don't want it to look all crazy and everything. So by doing that, that looks, you know, that looks pretty good. Maybe we'd even put that up to a slightly higher value. So what we want to do is we want to switch between these two different parameters that we just kind of previewed in the, in the form of an expression. And this is really straightforward to do. So we've got that, those hairs sitting in that stray variable waiting for us to do something with it. So let's go ahead and just call that guy out and tell it to be equal to or make a choice between two numbers. So for the stray hairs, we want to have that high, um, that low frequency, a frequency value of 1. And for the non-stray hairs, we want to have that high frequency value of a value of 10 that we just saw. So basically, that's what this expression does. It's basically saying for any hair that's considered a stray, those 10% of hairs, set the value to 1. For anything that's not in the stray, set the value to a value of 10. So we're going to do the same thing for magnitude. We're going to go back to this guy and we're going to say, you know what? For the stray hairs, let's go ahead and make a choice. So for strays, we want to have high magnitude, maybe a value of 1.5. We'll really pull those guys out. And then for the non-stray hairs, we're going to have a low value of something like 0.1. So we'll accept that and we'll just go back and we'll preview this guy one more time. So what we're going to get is we're going to get some little wispy hairs that sort of pull out now. And you can see the effect of those wispy hairs, really that high magnitude pulling those little kind of crazy stray hairs out. And 10% of the hairs in this description are considered strays. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty chaotic looking. Let's go ahead and modify that a little bit more. We'll set that stray percentage down to something like 2. And we'll preview that one more time. So now we're going to have far fewer stray hairs than we had in the first preview, and you can really get a sense of what that looks like. So that's just a quick example of how we can use expressions inside of XGen to make a decision between two different attributes, a value of 1 and a value of 10, or a value of 1.5 and a value of 0.1. And it's basically saying if it's in, within the stray variable, it's going to get the first number. If it's outside of that stray, or they're not flagged as stray hairs, it's going to get the second number. So that's just it. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Hopefully it makes sense to you guys. Thanks so much for checking out Maya Mondays. Hopefully you guys will continue to tune in, and I'll, I'll try to continue to post Maya Mondays throughout the year. Cheers, everyone.